It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got Pat Sertain, who has put together 32 tackles this season from his cornerback spot. It's the Broncos and the Jets, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. And off we go from Denver. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? But taking a look at Hall's numbers from a week ago, 16 carries, 63 yards. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments having up call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And now as we get toward the home stretch here in the regular season, Charles, let's take a look at the list of key inactives for them in this one. Yeah, and after almost a full season of physical games, you know you got some guys missing during the final weeks of the season. Nature of how we play this sport. Every team, you've got to be prepared to handle them. And the teams that focus on handling it, focus on guys getting ready to play even if they're not starters, those are the ones that weather the storm. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be first and ten Broncos from deep in their own territory. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Brandon, I don't know about you, but when I heard he threw five touchdown passes last week, I thought, well, he's going to be the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I didn't need to hear any other stats, and it turned out to be right. That's exactly right. Seemed like every time we turned around, he was throwing one in the end zone. But he doubled down. He said, I see five more in this game. Challenge accepted. Challenge. The numbers for Williams a week ago. 13 carries, 55 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Throwing Jones. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Let's take it inside his own 40. I call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jets will take over. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. 
And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go to work on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Rodgers now on first down. They're able to complete this with the Tyler Conklin. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. And hang on here. We've got an injured player, and that's the running back, Brees Hall. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Second down and eight. On the handoff of Anna Campbell. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Campbell once again. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's Ken Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They, they look like they mean business in this one. Well, they do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. A drive that time of six plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So the Broncos come back out as we give you a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about what the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Quentin Williams in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Jones, able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A huge play there for Denver, 41 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. Jones finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. You talk about this Jets defense. They're a unit that struggled some against the run, no doubt, coming in 25th out of 32 teams. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Now a play fake here on first down. And he will find his man, Sutton. That's complete. Touchdown. Cortland 
Sutton. 27 yards. And the Broncos are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And New York set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, here's Rodgers. And that's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Complete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. On is the punter Hecker as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way Easier said than done, but they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Third and two. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. The Broncos at 5-7 and seven now on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. He's going to try and go deep again. Going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And it is caught, and he will have the Broncos' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll look to throw again. This one swung out to Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 50 yard line. 
On second down, Williams. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Powering forward. And he's taken down inside the 30. That one good for 13, and again, we're first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They run it again with Williams. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Jones. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. A bullet throw, but incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now it's Rodgers. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Jadevian Clowney. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's taken at around the 40. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense back out onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. the draw here's Williams and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up well, we talk about defenders specifically linebackers keeping their eyes in the right spot he had that eye down the entire time and you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you they try and fool you 
and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call him for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright, and that will keep this a three-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. And New York set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now Rodgers toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. And meanwhile, Rodgers throw taken in by Samuel. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And again, it's Rodgers. It returns it right back to Samuel. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Third and four. To throw, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Josie Jewell, and the Broncos are going to take possession here at their own 33. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And that one too wide and incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Jones now to throw on third down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. 
And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Rodgers. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that is no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Man, that is deflating going into the break. You're in a position with a chance to tie the game. But this kick is off the mark, and they're going to remain three points down heading into the break. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. One second, all that remains. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half of play from quarterback Mac Jones. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what do what we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 66 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Second until his prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Throwing Jones. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation and no one there to stop it hits at the eight but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback so here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football which offense is going to break through here we'll see if they can do it on this drive throwing on first down is Rodgers open man here is Conklin the completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. 
Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. He's got Mason complete. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And the Broncos get there and take him down. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Here's Johnny Hacker now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's fielded at the 45. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. The pass there complete to Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos! Cortland Sutton with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point try now from Dicker. It's good to make it 17-7. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York set to take the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll begin on the ground here with a band of Kanda. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Abana can on first and 10. And he'll work down inside the 45. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On second down, it's Hill. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The give now to Abana Kimmel. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And they'll go again with Abana Kanda. And he'll get it inside the 35. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos' 28. 
46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And from the gun, here's a band of Canada. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have had a few men in the box there. Darren Browning, the one who brought him down. Second and ten now. Third quarter action in Denver. They'll run it with the band of Kanda. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third down, here's a band of Kanda. Yeah, he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. And his kick here is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous. It'll stress them. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. They've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The offense on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and eight. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Broncos send out their punter now. Standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. A tackle credited to Deshaun Elliott, the safety. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and eight. A first throw for the backup, Wilson. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Had no for man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Farmer? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, Wilson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Riley Moss. And the Broncos are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. The Broncos and Cortland Sutton heading back out there. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Jones throw here caught by Mims. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Jones. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department, third down. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Second and nine. Again, it's Williams. And he'll go down at the 28. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now Jones from the gun on third down. It's a pickup of six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. Second down six at the Jets' 18-yard line. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And he whips that one incomplete there. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense... They spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. And this one is right through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. First target, first catch, and a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. To throw again is Wilson. That's caught. This is a Banacanda. And quickly they get to the line. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he is caught. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. 
A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and they pick it up rather easily. A gain of nine on fourth and two. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Here's second and a yard. They go play action with Wilson. They've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. He's got his target. That's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Throwing now is Wilson. And he's got his man on the out route. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Now Wilson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Passing lanes tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20-13. to 13. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Jermaine Johnson drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The Broncos send out their punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. That's taken on the 25. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. So here is Wilson and the Jets. Down 20 to 13, 35 seconds to go. Well, their losing streak in danger of continuing as they come up on first down. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. There's Wilson. Now a 
desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Broncos, their very slim playoff hopes remain as they move to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they're squarely in play for next year mode now as they drop to 2-11. and 11. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.